Hello and welcome. Pi Fluent Visualization Package is used for post-processing ANSYS Fluent results to display graphics objects and plot data. It basically extends the post-processing capabilities offered by Pi Fluent Core by providing post-processing and visualization capabilities using Pi Vista and Matplotlib. Using Pi Vista within an interactive Jupyter Notebook or other IDE offers benefits for post-processing results while Matplotlib can be employed to create charts and plots locally. In this lesson, we will look into the features of Pi Fluent Visualization Package in detail with an example of fluid flow inside a static mixer. Sounds interesting, right? Let's get started. Pi Fluent Visualization is a package that works hand in hand with ANSYS Fluent and uses Pi Fluent session objects to enable script based post processing. It offers an interactive window on the client side which allows users to view post processing objects locally in the ID. Unlike the core package where the post processing objects cannot be viewed if the case file is running on the server. The package utilizes a range of libraries including PyVista and Matplotlib to render these objects in the interactive window. Let us now explore the capabilities and features of visualization package with a static mixer example. Navigate to the folder which you would like to be your working directory. Please note that the simulation files required to demonstrate this workshop need to be in the same folder. Type cmd in the address bar which opens the command prompt in the particular directory and type Jupyter Notebook to open a new Jupyter Notebook session. Now create a new Python Notebook as shown. This opens a Jupyter Notebook where each line of the code can be executed individually. Let's start with performing the required imports and setting the configuration. This piece of code sets the display configuration for the current session and helps in generating plots and graphics by importing matplotlib and pyvista libraries. Matplotlib notebook code is used to display plots in Jupyter Notebook. Next, let's start a fluent solver session in double precision mode with two processes. For this lesson, we will work with Fluent GUI disabled. Hence, Show GUI is set to false. Let us now load the already simulated case and data file which are already placed in the working directory. You can see the status of the file getting loaded onto the Fluent session just below the input tab of the notebook. To visualize results for the static mixer case, we need to add post processing elements using PyFluent commands. This can be done by using graphics object. Now let's get the graphics object for the current solver session and name it as graphics. Here the graphics object is taken from PyVista library which is used to visualize the extracted data. As the first element of demo in the visualization package, let's display mesh using graphics object. To display mesh, create the graphics object with the name mesh. Let us now check the status of mesh by using round brackets. We see that the surfaces list is set to none and show edges is set to false. We need to display mesh for all the surfaces of static mixer. Hence, add all the surface names to the list, say velocity inlet 1, velocity inlet 2, pressure outlet and wall. The edges can be displayed in the mesh by setting show edges to true. Checking the status of the mesh again confirms that all the surfaces of the geometry are selected and edges will be shown. To display the mesh, use the code mesh.display followed by round brackets. This will open an interactive window which allows the object to rotate, pan and zoom just like a fluent window. You also have other options like reset camera perspective view and other in the window. 
Similarly, let's display the mesh without any edges by setting show edges to false and displaying the mesh. As the next element of post processing, let us look at how to create a plane surface using surfaces class. Just like the mesh, the plane surface can also be created using the graphics object. Let's create a graphics object in surfaces named XY plane assigned to plane. To know the inputs required and the status of the object, type plane followed by round brackets. It shows that the type is isosurface and not plane surface. To check what other type surfaces are available, type plane.definition.type dot and press tab. Here select allowed values and execute the code. This shows that there are two types of surfaces and we need to select plane surface. Hence define plane surface for the type of surface and check the status of the plane again. This confirms that the type of surface is now changed to plane surface. We can see that the creation method is by default XY plane and let's keep it as is. The aim here is to create an XY plane passing through both the inlets of the static mixer, hence the Z direction can be given as shown. Note that the Z distance given is in meters. To display the created plane, use the following code. Next, let us learn how velocity contours are displayed on the XY plane created in the previous step using the visualization package. To create contours, append contours to the already created graphics object. Perform similar steps as before to check the input required and the status of the graphics object if needed. Here we are directly giving the required inputs. Setting the field to velocity magnitude and surface list to XY plane will cover all the inputs required to display the contour. Now let's display the contour using the display command. Now let's create a velocity vector on the same XY plane. The inputs required here are the field for the vector and the surfaces for which vectors are to be shown. Let's give the appropriate inputs as velocity magnitude and XY plane respectively. Now displaying the vector will show up the velocity vector in the interactive window. The vector scale is by default 1 but can be changed to the desired value by using the command vector.scale equal to 0.5. Finally, displaying the vector will give us the vector with scale 0.5. Similar to graphics object, we need to create plots object in order to create and display plots in PyFluent. Let us start by creating the XY plot for velocity magnitude on the line surface at the outlet that has already been created in the file. Let us name the XY plot as velocity plot. You can check the status and the inputs required as discussed earlier using the xy plot followed by round brackets. The inputs required are listed here. This includes velocity magnitude as y axis function, line as the surface list and 0, 0,1, 0 as the direction vector. Once all the required inputs are given, let's display the plot. The command plot appended by the xy plot followed by round brackets display the plot as shown. In the same way, one can also generate other post processing elements using a similar approach. For more information on PyFluent visualization including user guide, API reference and other related resources, please refer to the PyFluent visualization documentation. Let's summarize what we discussed in this lesson. We explored the PyFluent visualization package and its features with an example. 
which started off with launching a Jupyter Notebook session and performing the required imports. We then launched the ANSYS Fluent session and imported the case and data files to perform post-processing using PyFluent commands and explored how various post-processing elements are displayed. This brings us to the end of our lesson.